Welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we are doing some summer DIYs. This first one was a super easy one for me. So back in 2020, we had a huge windstorm that just knocked down so many of our trees. And here's some fun pictures from back then. So I cannot believe that this was over or almost three years ago. This was a mess to clean up, but it brought some really cool hollowed stumps for me to use as planters, which I still use these now and had these in a recent DIY. I actually have flowers that grow in one of them every single year, which I think is so cool. So I just leave them out all winter and they magically grow back. And we just, uh, use like compost for our dirt. So we always throw our leaves out back and then eventually it brings out some really great uh, dirt for us. And then I just planted these in here, but um, if you guys could see, I maybe we'll post a picture later on on Instagram so you can see like how beautiful the flowers are in these now. Uh, but I love these, these are really cool and they were free for me. So if you guys have logs like this, hollow some out or fingers crossed already hollowed out for you. And these are a perfect DIY for every single year. So this next one, we're going to make a wreath. It's been a long time since I made a wreath on my channel, but I love this one. I'm using, oh my gosh, why can't I think an embroidery hoop for this? It was huge. It was $1 from a yard sale and I'm using a ton of florals from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using like one bunch each. I think it took like 10 or 15. It took quite a few. Uh, this is an older video, but I just wanted to just kind of re-show you guys. I have a ton of new subscribers since I did these a couple years ago and they're just some of my favorites. So I had to keep them around and I wanted to Reshow. So I'm using a chalkboard from Arteza and a silk screen transfer from Chalkatour. Yes, I've been doing Chalkatour for over two years now and I'm still obsessed with it. I'm not sure on the colors. I can link those in the description box below for you guys or I'll leave the old video. I probably didn't leave the colors as well, but I think some of these are older, so I don't even know if they actually have them on the website anymore. They also do not have this silk screen transfer on the website. It was actually from the club couture where you receive a size B transfer, which is like an eight and a half by 11 and a chalk paste to create a fun DIY project. And I'll link that in the description box below for you guys. So a wood piece from Walmart, a sign from Dollar Tree, boxes from Dollar Tree, hazelnut in the Waverly. And the best way to make like a fun stain, if you did not already know, is to add some water to it. So I wanted this to look like stain and I love this hazelnut color. It is such a beautiful color. I forgot how nice this looked. So I'm definitely gonna have to use some more DIYs with that color because it's so pretty. Celery is another one of my favorites and I'm gonna be painting these wooden boxes all four of them with that really, really chalk paint in celery. Celery and moss are like my favorite colors. The moss is like a darker green, but I love that one. So once these were painted, I decided to use some rub-on transfers. Rub-on transfers have been a favorite of mine for a long, long time, whether they're from Dollar Tree or Amazon or wherever I can find them. Usually those are the only two spots I can actually find rub-on transfers. The ones on Amazon are more expensive, but they are larger and you do get more. And that is how I like to justify the price that I'm spending is that if I can make like 10 or 15 DIYs with these and pay $13, it's really not a bad deal because normally when I buy rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree, I use the entire pack on one project or I use three on one project. So it still ends up being a little pricey if you actually think about it. And then now I'm just gluing everything to this wood piece and adding some greenery and florals. And that is it for this one. I loved these Dollar Tree signs, the Weed It and Reap. And there was another really cute one. I want to say it was like a floral market sign. And it was a couple years ago, but I actually realized I still have one of those floral market ones. So I don't know if I'll use it now or if it's kind of too late, but this is what it looks like. I think the rub-on transfers in different areas of those cubes are so cute. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my Next one is these terracotta pots. I have three of these. These were from Dollar Tree. And if you can't find them at Dollar Tree, probably Walmart would have them. 
color is white and moss and I'm just using an old microfiber cloth and just rubbing this on and I'm actually just rubbing it and then I'm just taking the two different colors and kind of splotching it on with the same microfiber cloth. This turned out so cool. You could use a sponge for this but I don't know if a sponge would give it the same type of texture but this was so cool looking. So yeah, I just rubbed that moss, rubbed the white on, and then I started splotching. And these turned out better than I could have imagined. I used some florals to fill them from Dollar Tree. And then I decided to use some rub-on transfers for the fronts of these as well. And those rub-on transfers are also from the Dollar Tree. Have some of these rub-on transfers and you don't know what to do with them. Start spelling some stuff out on terracotta pots because this was more than easy. I decided to do plant dig and grow on these and I think these are just the cutest little things ever. Going for sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. The last time I was at Walmart, these little circle wood pieces were still $1. I hope that they still are. I decided to use that same paint that was on the terracotta pots because I had some left over and why waste it if you don't have to? So I decided to paint this and then I started, I was like, you know what? It'd be cool if it was more of like a wash or just like a brush, like a dry brush. And I think these turn out cool. So I painted them with a mixture of the white and the celery or the moss color. It was moss, definitely moss on this one. And then I just kind of started to go back and forth and just play with this. And I think these are so pretty. I love the the style or however I painted those. I thought that was really cool. Using some of these wall stickers from the Dollar Tree, I'm just painting these black, but you can make it more of a summer color and paint it whichever color your little heart desires. But black is always true to my heart, I suppose. So I always have to paint something black. So I just added those stickers to each of these. I decided to use some rub-on transfers for these as well. Uh, if you have the rub-on transfers, use them. I try to use as many as I possibly can without wasting them because if you can take a dollar or a dollar 25 and use it until you cannot use it anymore I will stretch that one dollar I will stretch that uh, project out or I will stretch the piece out that I purchased as much as I possibly can uh, and I'm just using some ribbon to glue all three of these two and that is it for this one This one I'm just using four of these little succulents inside these little boxes or signs and I'm just taking them and gluing all four together to make a cute little planner box and that is it. This one was pretty easy to put together and you can add whatever sort of plant or florals you want inside of it. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. Bring in some bee DIYs back. I honestly don't have any ideas for bee DIYs because I feel like I've already done them, but I'm using half of this really large egg. I'm not sure where this large egg came from, but we had it for a few years and they honestly just were not staying together unless we were taping the top and the bottom piece. So I decided that we're not going to do that anymore. I'm going to use this and make a fun beehive. This was huge. It probably took 10 things of rope from the Dollar Tree to do. It was giant. So towards the end, I decided to make a little handle, which is what I'm doing here. And then I kept wrapping the rope around this. Once I was done, you had to figure out what you're going to use for like the hole in the beehive. I just traced out a circle and added some black vinyl which worked great and then I just added some rope around the edges so it looked like it was actually supposed to be there and that was it for this this was super cute you could use whatever I mean if you have felt use it if you have cardstock use it you don't have to use vinyl but I thought it was easy because it was sticky and it stuck right on to the rope 
Anytime I can find a good clearance deal on signs, I will buy them. $1.50 for this sign from Walmart. And like I said, this was a couple years ago. So obviously they're probably not going to have this around anymore. But that front piece just peeled right off. So I had a nice little white blank slate. Although it wasn't white, so I decided to actually paint it. And I'm also using this yellow flume color for the center. And then I just used my Cricut machine to print off a or to cut out a decal that says be kind. I think this is absolutely adorable. And that is it for this sign. I just want to feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive all right, this next DIY, I'm using three scrap wood pieces. Now I'm not showing you guys what the beehive looks like along with that be kind sign because in the end, I'm putting a cute little basket together so you can see how everything looks together. Uh, so the first thing I did for these wood pieces is cut them down to the size I wanted, painted them white, and we're gonna be adding some stickers from the Dollar Tree. Maybe these were from Walmart. You can get them at Walmart Dollar Tree. I think they're still 98 cents from Walmart. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I have bought stickers, but local honey farm wrapped it in some twine, tied it together. And this is so cute. It is such a cute little vignette or a little like basket, but this is how I styled everything together. And I think it is so cute. a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna why so i'll be using a round sign from the dollar tree i'm just gonna be flipping it over and using the back side i'm going to be using the waverly chalk paint in white and painting the entire thing it was painted white I decided to go ahead and use this antique wax I went over the top of it and then brushed it off to give it a nice little stain I decided to paint it white first because I wasn't sure how that antique wax would look on that like MDF board but I love the way this part turned out I think this is really pretty so paint it first and then go ahead and use that antique wax I'm using another vinyl decal from my Cricut this says be humble. I think this is absolutely adorable. I just put that right to the center of the circle and that is it for this one. can break me DIY, I'm going to be using a wooden crate from the Dollar Tree, and this one does not have the cracks between the crate. Those are the ones that I like. I love making faux books with these crates. You just paint them whatever color you want, flip them upside down, add some decals. I use my Cricut for this, but you could just use stickers, whatever you'd like, but I am just using Sweet Like Honey, and then I found these really cute bee stickers from the Dollar Tree, and I decided just to cut this out and add one of these bees to the side of it. I think this is absolutely adorable. So I just went ahead and cut around the pieces and just added that bee. I just, 
I think this is so cute and it was so inexpensive to make. I'm using some florals I found at a yard sale along with Walmart, using some twine, wrapping it around, throwing some little greenery and florals on top and that is it for this. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect this DIY, I'll be using a chalkboard in the Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss, and I'm just painting around the edges. This chalkboard you can purchase at Walmart, but I found it for only $1 at, or at a garage sale. Not at Walmart, $1 at a garage sale. So I decided just to paint the edges, and it is okay if you get it on that chalkboard because I'm not actually using it as a chalkboard. So if you guys have any of those older calendars, maybe even the newer ones, and they have bees on them, or any sort of summer decor, Throw them in a frame. It looks so cute. I'm just using a glue stick, adding it to the center, and then wrapping some twine around the edges because obviously I cannot cut correctly and I just kind of needed like a barrier between the sign and the calendar piece. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope these were some quick, fun, easy DIYs for the summertime. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.